Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome to another video here today on Blood of the Dead. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Hell's Redeemer, which is the upgraded version of the Tomahawk on Blood of the Dead. Now, instead of two charges, when you hold down the trigger, you can actually do three. And in Black Ops 2's version, it dealt unlimited damage. So it's going to deal most likely unlimited damage as well in Black Ops 4. Now, overall, this is a really, really cool thing. And it's most likely going to be used at some point during the Easter egg. So I would highly recommend that every time you play Blood to do this. So the first thing you need to do, there's a couple prerequisites. The first thing you need to do is obviously get the original Hell's Retriever. Now this one is just the normal red version and you're gonna need to get a lot of kills with it. So make sure you practice a little bit and you get good with using it. You also have to also open up Pack-A-Punch on the roof in order for this to work. So make sure you do that because I forgot to do it in one of my games and uh, I didn't actually realize that you had to do that. So I was never able to upgrade it that game, which was kind of unfortunate. Now, another thing to keep in mind is it does take three souls in order to actually get one charge on your shield. So you have to get three kills and then you have to bash the meter and eventually Pack-A-Punch will spawn. So once you do that guys then you're going to go over here to the bridge area and what you want to do is get kills now one area that works really well is from up here and when you get kills you will get your tomahawk to turn blue and when it turns blue that means you're doing it correctly now it takes about 30 kills total in order for you to actually finish this step now this area is really good to stand looking down also standing next to the swordfish wall by is another really really good spot to stand and basically just throw it at zombies as you can see my teammates are also getting theirs to show up blue and once again it takes about 30 kills total which is kind of a lot but when you think of it um if you get like five kills per tomahawk throw then it's really not that hard to do. Now, one way that you can test if you're done completely is by throwing your tomahawk, and if it stays red the entire time, that means that you're done. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to hear the wolf noise that you will hear when you are done filling up the tomahawk. So that's all you really have to do. Now, once you're done that, guys, you need a shield, and you need to look around the map in a few different areas in order to see a blue hell's hell like hound icon like you can see on my screen so what you do is throw a tomahawk at it when you see it and it will disappear and make a wolf noise now there are a bunch of locations on the map now i'm going to show you a few of them the first one is going to be down here on the rock the second one is going to be over here on the wall on the left or right hand side rather and the third location over here is the one that i just got in my game which is like down here on the rock now i did hear people say there was a spot in the docks i haven't been able to see that yet there's one on that wall over there and there's one over here in the same spot where you originally got the hell's retriever on mob and there's also one over there and last but not least over by the warden's house you can get one over here next to the pipe that's smoking or you can also get it up on the wall next to the broken windows. So you just have to throw your tomahawk at that. Now, once you do that, your your tomahawk will be taken away. So you will not have it anymore. And that means that you're ready for the next step. So what you need to do is get a full charge on your shield. So once again, kill three dogs or three zombies and make sure you have a full charge on your shield because you're going to need it for the next dog round. So on the next dog round, what you wanna do is look with your shield in spectral vision and try to find a dog that is walking around. Now, sometimes you can see the footsteps. Now for me, I happen to get it down below in the showers area. Now this dog can literally be walking anywhere on the map. It can be in the original spawn. It can be in the mob of the dead spawn. And as you can see, I could see like the smoke and what you do is call a full charge on it. Now, the dog is going to have the Hell's Redeemer in its mouth, which is really, really cool. And I really like that about the map. So once you do that, guys, then all you literally have to do is go down the exact same way you got the original Hell's Retriever. And just so you guys know, if you don't know how to open Pack-A-Punch 
or get the Hell's Retriever. I'll have guides down below in the description. But overall, it is definitely a really, really cool Easter egg. And once again, I definitely think this is going to be part of the main quest. Now, you do need to do this on normal mode. You can't do it in casual or with mutation. So keep that in mind if you guys are going to be doing this. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire. If you guys end up using this guide, make sure to let me know down below. And also, I wouldn't mind if you guys dropped a like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. So, anyways, guys, have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.